Hi, I'm your host, Colin Simpson. And I'm Devin White. And you're, and you're watching, watching BG on TV. TV. Before we get started with the show, we have a special announcement from Matt and Roman. All right. What do we you got here? Up? Yeah, I'm good. I'm warm. Uh, what did they give us today? No, let's see. We got to play with it. No. Oh, <laughs> you all right? Taste some blood? Hey, we yeah, rolling? Yeah. Oh, we are, right now? Yeah. <coughs> you all right? Oh, man. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm good now. All right. Uh, I'm ready. We're going to start in five, four, five, four, three. No, you three. can't. No, it's five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Hi, I'm Roman, and this is my friend Matthew. Matthew. And we're here with BG on TV, and today we Thank you. are going to go to the moon. It's the, the moon. moon. It's a circle. Going to the moon. Going, going, to the, over going here. On to Landon. the moon, like that. It will be BG on the TV moon. Yep. I'll, but it's TV the real moon. moon. TV. Friends forever. Yep, Friends Forever, 2014. 2014. And we, or 2015. Sea Land. Sea Land, 2015. And we are going to go to the moon. The, the producers of BG on TV dared finally, us to do it. Yeah. Finally dared us. Finally yeah, dared us. Practically waiting for it. For six years. And they decided to let us do it. So uh, we're going to. Give, give a NASA and, a call? Uh, yeah, we got to just make a quick phone call. Quick phone call, I NASA. looked up the number on the internet. Just need to go over some technical specs for uh, some science rocket science stuff it's ringing it's ringing oh hi hello uh hi this is roman i'm here with my friend matt and we're calling on behalf of bg on tv oh, no. and today we are gonna go to, to the, the moon. moon yes hi we were just going to the moon could... together forever hello? to the moon and once hello do you want a speaker um so they hung up on us, me specifically. Well, hey, Mike, uh, they they hung up. Uh, we, we have to keep going though. We already paid the budget for the shoot. Well, were you saying name right? Did we not have it was, a plan? It was NASA, right? Did we not have a plan for if they said no? I, I have to talk to my boss. Uh, did, was I saying it right? It was NASA, right? N NASA. I mean, my line producer says NASA, but... NASA? I, yeah, I, I think, I think NASA. it's wrong. I'm pretty sure it's NASA. Okay, well, that's what I said, and they still hung up on me. So, uh, how much money NASA. did the producers give us? They gave us... Let's see. Oh, uh, ones. Well, yeah, hold on. Those are unmarked bills. 40? Hold on, give me that. Unmarked, uh, those are unmarked dollars. All right. Yeah, these aren't going to work. How many are there? I mean, it's 70, 70 but I don't think... Bills. Well, well, we'll try. I don't think any of these are real. <laughs> okay, so we got <laughs> they 70... They didn't even give us real dollars. Yeah, that's, that's, there's no face on that. So we have 70 fake dollars. We'll make it work. This is Here a, at BG on TV... We make it we work. We have always been looking to push the envelope and uh, be the best we can be, because everything this, you see is made by students, like this kitchen set and my coat. Um, so This sweater was made uh, by a student, a student in of Ireland. And yeah, so stay tuned. Keep watching these segments. We'll get, we're gonna figure we out. A, we're gonna we're, make a spaceship. Hey, I'm I'm trying to host it. Okay. Well, a co-host. Yeah. That doesn't together, mean talk over me. Together. We're friendship forever. Mm, rocket. Mm, all right. I can't be mad at this guy. <laughs> stay tuned. Forever. 
doesn't look like they're going far. And if you ask me, you might even say their expectations are out of this world. <laughs> oh, oh, God, Devin, you are so funny. And you always show up to everything. Colin, you're too much and so nice. And you always dress well. <sighs> oh, my God, Devin, you're the best. Never leave. So this is Relay for Life. Um, Relay for Life is a 12-hour event where we, um, BGSU students, are raising money for the American Cancer Society um, and their efforts of um, can cancer research to find a cure for cancer. So we have over 570 participants registered and a lot more visitors and participants who signed up tonight at the door. So the BG community has really come together tonight um, to walk for 12 hours and show that cancer never sleeps and why we're out here tonight doing what we're doing. Dance team that came in, uh, uh, Element. moving to me to see the whole community come together for such an awesome cause. So I would say definitely moving would be the word. BGSU is doing a great really for this year. The steering committee has done a great job, so I had a lot of fun. Wow, what an amazing event. Imagine a day in the life of their shoes. Well, we may not be able to do that. But we can definitely understand what it's like in the day in the life of a BG on TV member. Yo, man, wake up. We got work we got to do. Turn your tail off. I know you hear that a lot. Come on, dude. We got to go, man. I ain't playing around all day. All the stuff I'd rather do. 
Why are you always asleep, man? Why are you always asleep? Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go, Bryce. Man, man. You know, we could have been shooting by now, but someone... Oh, I have to sleep till 12 from Dimitri. And I sleep with... Oh, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Come on. I better quit playing around before y'all get hurt. Alright. Let's get up here and let's rock. Uh, let's do this. Alright guys, just go ahead and sit around in here. Make sure you watch your step. Oh, dang. Way too quick. I told you to watch your step, man. Come on. Alright, here. Just come up in here. Yeah. So, uh, I don't really have anything planned. What are we supposed to be doing here? Neither do I, man. What you got? What you thinking? So, anybody got any threes? We're playing spades. Turn it back around. There we go. Bring it up. Oh. Or just do it like that. All right. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Let's speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Oh. Oh, y'all going a little quick for me. There we go. Oh. Oh, gotcha. There we go. I don't know what's going on anymore. Guys, we got nothing done today. I mean, we didn't even get our segment done. Well, let's be honest. Didn't we?
Now let's move on to our next segment with a mini doc and music video with Tree No Leaves. I'm Dustin, I am from Trino Leaves, and I play guitar and sing and do other stuff. Yeah, we just did uh, the Grand Ball in. This is an old song that we've come here to record in a new way. It's very different than the original. And we've performed it several times over the past year. It existed in a little bit of a different format. It's kind of, it's evolved and changed as members have come in. We've added, and, you know, we improvise on it, we've added different sections. Um, it's a great track, lots of energy. Well, this song in particular, I definitely, yeah, dig it. The house was glowing. Introducing lyrics in the band was well, kind of hard at first. I, the lyrics themselves actually aren't even really about anything personal. The bulk of the material was actually written before I joined the band, and um, it decided to be good for uh, a studio session because it has a lot of overdubs and stuff like that. This was just a song that we decided to actually get lyrical inspiration from researching old terms and like kind of slang from like the 1700s and 1800s. So there's a lot of lyrical content. There's like referencing a fart catcher and the Kit Kat Club and uh, all these kind of strange references that at the time meant something entirely different. Everyone watch me boys and they people should always fun song to sing. Um, it's not a personal song as much as it's personal because it's just the song has a lot of history with the band. Um, I didn't even originally sing it, so at the time when the song was written it was actually sang by a former member of the band that she sang more, so uh, yeah, it's been fun. To me, it gives me and Josh a good section a chance to really go off and kind of trusted me to uh, interpret it, do what I do, use plenty of our, our energy, work on the arrangements. So it's been a lot of fun. It's a fun one, fun one to play. Got it. Okay. Recording the song here at Terra Recording Studio. Yeah, we were here last year. We recorded our album here. Amazing studio. Chris is awesome to work with. I really like coming back. I mean, we're familiar with it. They really knew what they were doing when they were setting it up because, you know, it has proper sound baffles. But it's been fun that we actually have been able to record all in the same space. We got together in the same room there, so. Yeah, we've come back to work with Chris Cabrera again. This is really his studio, his baby. He's built this thing from the ground up. It's cutting edge, it's new, it's clean, it sounds great. It's real super laid back. It's everything sound, you know, a thousand times better than, uh, you know, probably what it is. But, um, you know, that's, that's his gift. He's a really talented guy. We are really proud of the sound that we were able to get here. It was a, I could really say it was the first album that we recorded that the first sound and the last sound just sounded professional. It makes the recording process a lot smoother, knowing that everything you need is right there. It's a great space to work in, and uh, Chris is also a really good producer. He understands sound. Um, he plays drums, guitar, all those things, so he understands what we're all going for. So, you know, I, I love the song, but I think now we actually are going to have a recording of it that we're going to keep playing out, and I want more people to hear it.
Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Wait, I wait, 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 Colin. Wait, we almost forgot about Matt and Roman. You're right, we did. Oh my God, geez, what would I have done if you weren't here? I guess we'll just never know. Okay, so we pretty much just spent $70 on cardboard and gasoline. Got the gas right here. But this thing has an engine, I promise. And this is our launching pad. But Matt, I have to be honest, I'm not convinced this is gonna work. Nonsense, friend. We have our space helmets. We do have our helmets. And Mike, you check, you make sure these, uh, these work in space, right? Yeah, we can still talk to everybody. Yeah, our engineers said that they're cleared for uh, space use, especially on the moon. Space testing, use, perfect. Testing one, two. Testing from space. Testing from oh, hey, it, we're not in space yet, though, so. Well, just testing to make sure when we get. But obviously they're working because we're shooting, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's movie. silly. All right. Okay, so come aboard my Starcraft. All right, where's the door? Uh, around back, and then we'll go straight up to the moon. All right, which which side is the? the door? It's around this way. I don't see it. Over here. Over where? Kind of like to my five o'clock. Well, it's like a kitchen. No, no, that's the that's the door. It goes into the kitchen. Oh, okay. This thing has a big, a lot of space in it. Yeah, it's pretty big. We did a good job. All right, you ready? Wait, hold on, where's the bathroom? I, need to I, go I told you to go. I told you to go before you left. Do we have the space suits that can go in our, in our suits? No, that section's not a real thing. That was just in that one movie. Oh, okay. I looked. Well, all right, ready? My pants are wet. Um, all right. Monitoring, monitor. Ready to punch it when you are. Monitoring. Am I gonna punch it? Um, check the levels. Yeah, we're up to about 12. 12 levels? 12 whole levels. Okay, wow, I'm punching it. Ah! 10, 9, 8. It's working. Seven. It's working. It's we're working. Roman, Roman, we're doing it. Roman, Five, we're doing it. Four, smoke. Three, two, we're one. Doing it. We're doing it. We're in space now, I guess. I don't know how this works. Uh, but oh, man. from my understanding, we are oh, rising. Man. We have oh, reached man. the stratosphere. That's cool. Now the thermosphere. Is that the one that comes next? It's getting a little hotter now. Uh, and then is it mesosphere? Or is mesosphere before thermosphere? I don't know. Uh, we are... the same to me. Look, I can see I can see Earth now. Yeah, all these all the all the atmospheres kinda look the same. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well I guess to the untrained eye they would, but you know, I've been studying atmosphere for a long time for this trip. I've been preparing, so I can tell the difference. I can tell when were you subtle, preparing? subtle nuances in the atmosphere. When were you preparing to go to space? For like the past 16 years, when we said we should do this. Hey, you hear that? Yeah, they have the music. Yeah. Very nice, right? I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad you can, because uh, I was worried. I don't. It's non-diagetic, so oh, okay, I, I thought cool. I might be the only one. But. Yeah, I... I... Oh, cool, cool. Hey, when do, you think, when do you think we'll get to the moon? How long do you think we'll take? Uh, I see it coming up right now. There it is. We did it. Oh, look. We did it. You see all those holes? Yeah. It's actually from groundwater. Those are sinkholes. Sinkholes? Well, we shouldn't land them, right? No, probably. Because that's how we're going to drink water. We're going to run new water up here. Well, if we land our ship in there, how are we going to get back we to Earth? We didn't think to bring any water, so we got to just brought all these Kool-Aid packets. Oh, man. The moon's so pretty this time of so space. Pretty. This time of space. This time of being in outer space. It's fall. It's autumn on the moon. Is it? Mm -hmm. Do the trees still fall the same? Does the there water are trees the same? On the moon. Oh. But there are a bunch of stumps and roots. The landing gear should work, right? Yeah, I assume so. Uh, you know how the moon that used to be part of the Earth? No, tell me more. Uh, well, uh, it broke away. But Why did you do that? Because, oh my god, if you let me talk, I'll tell you. It was called the Orbital Forest, and it was the greatest forest on the Earth. But the Orbital Forest grew so mighty that the, uh, the sea gods got jealous of it. it severed the, the roots that connected the Orbital Forest to the Earth. Check so then out. it floated, the Orbital Forest floated into space, and that's the moon. That's huh. why the stumps are still there. Well, it's how to get round then, silly? It's the orbital forest. It's always been an orb. And they cut it. They cut it right mm -hmm. off. The sea gods got jealous of the beauty of the orbital forest. Matt and Roman, you will be missed. But with that being said, if you like what you saw here today, check us out at our website. Or you can check us out at Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Well, thanks for watching.
spin me, spin me. I am your ruler. Spin me, spin me. <laughs> Don't spin me so fast. Next time, it makes me sick to my belly. <laughs> Go ahead. 